All right, let's compare these two. I've got a Evolution Rage 2 uh, metal blade chop saw, and of course my trusty Harbor Freight industrial abrasive saw. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was uh, compare my new one, the cuts it makes, versus the abrasive saw. Uh, price difference between the two, the Rage 2 is about 250 on Amazon and the Harbor Freight, the industrial version, is about $99, $100. Um, one of the things I noticed uh, between the two, right off the bat when I took it out of the box, was that the Evolution, its base is basically, it's also stamped steel, just like the Harbor Freight version, except this thing, it weighs about 50 pounds. So whenever you're cutting through material, you're not going to have to worry about this thing, you know, shifting uh, or moving around. And that's one of the issues I have with my Harbor Freight. I kind of kind of fight with it whenever I'm cutting something because, you know, everything vibrates and everything like that. Um, and also, I always have to basically wind my Rage 2. Whenever I want to uh, remove something, you know, it's, it's, this is kind of a, a drag where on my Harbor Freight, it's, it's, a, it's a quick release and it pops out and this thing can slide back and forth fairly easily. Um, other than that, let's check out my Industrial Harbor Freight, which I've used quite often. Pretty much for the price, it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's, a, it's an abrasive saw. It'll cut through metal. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's $99. I mean, it's 99 bucks. I mean, what do you expect? But it works great. This is my third one. Uh, the first one I bought the uh, cheaper one, I think it's 69 and that one was DOA. So I bought the industrial version, no, no, I'm, I'm lying. The, the cheaper one stopped working after about, I don't know, two or three hours. So I bought the industrial and as soon as I took it out of the box, plugged it in, it didn't work. So I took it back and I've been using this one. And I've had this one, you know, I fabbed up my whole turbo setup on it and it works great. Um, the reason for going to the uh, metal blade chop saw is that you know, the metal is cool to the touch. As soon as you're done, you can touch it. I mean, it's not like if I cut tubing and I want to touch it and everything like that. But of course, you know, you want to start welding and everything else. And, and also, uh, there's a lot less burrs. So that, that'll save you a lot of time if you have a whole bunch of tubing that you need to cut, you know, for pie cuts or anything. It's just a lot less work to clean up your material. So um, let's check it out. Right now, let's uh, cut something with my Harbor Freight. I've got a piece of tubing here. And it's about 14 gauge, so let's just cut through it, see what we got. show you let me see if you can see that yeah um, see that all that right here those are all burrs that you're you're basically gonna have to clean off and if you're fabbing up something you know that's that's gonna take you a long time if you have a whole bunch of pieces come on focus there buddy come on Samsung let's go all right well anyway so as you can tell that's that's this is the stuff you need to clean up and it'll take you ages to do that if you have a whole bunch of pieces and of course, this is this is pretty hot. So let's check it out on the metal blade chop saw. Oh, there you go. Part of my Harbor Freight just came off. Ah, crap. Thanks, Obama. Let's see what we got here. I'm not going to secure it. I'm pretty much not need to use a cutoff wheel, so let's check it out.
thing you don't want to do with these metal blade chop saws is get in there with a the jackhammer and start shoving through your material. That's how you break teeth off of these things. Um, so let me show you what I cut off. This is the metal blade chop saw. As you can see, literally no burrs. It's supposed to be cool to the touch, so let's check that out. Yep. Perfect. There is a little bit of burr on this side, on the inside, very little, but here, here's the old one. So compare these two. Well, there you go. Price-wise, you're going to pay about, oh, I don't know, I think I paid 250 bucks for the Evolution. With the multi-purpose blade, it'll cut through wood, uh, metal, and cement, I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff. Stuff I don't care about. I'm just basically cutting tubing. And the abrasive saw from uh, Harbor Freight is about $99, like I said earlier, but this is clearly worth it. I wasn't fighting. Whenever this thing was cutting through, I pretty much didn't have to hold you know, the saw itself and worry about you know, this thing sliding off the table. But on my Harbor Freight, I mean, it's pretty light. I mean, you get what you pay for, but I'm not saying it's junk. It's just, you know, it's just a, a cheaper made chop saw. But anyway, hope you liked the little demo. Um, it'll definitely save you some time if you buy one.